If you're still trying to catch up on the 2023 Best Picture nominees, here's where you can watch all 10. Starting with Netflix for the German anti-war picture All Quiet on the Western Front. A young soldier is excited to fight in World War I until he learns the grim reality of life in the trenches. Oh, and you may have heard of this one. James Cameron's long-in-the-works Avatar sequel, The Way of Water, currently the third highest grossing movie of all time, which will be available for digital download on March 28th. Over on HBO Max, you can watch Colin Farrell and Brendan Gleeson play lifelong friends in The Banshees of Inishirin, but one of them abruptly ends the relationship, leading to dire consequences. I just don't like you no more. You didn't like me yesterday. And stay right there on HBO Max to watch Austin Butler as Elvis in Baz Luhrmann's epic film about the legend's life and music. Tom Hanks also stars. Meanwhile, when an interdimensional rupture threatens to unravel reality, only Best Actress nominee Michelle Yeoh can save the multiverse. Everything Everywhere All at Once leads the pack this year with 11 nominations. So if you haven't seen it, get to Showtime immediately. Steven Spielberg's semi-autobiographical The Fablemans focuses on a young man's love of film. You can rent or buy it on Amazon's Prime Video and other video on-demand services. Kate Blanchett picked up a Best Actress nomination for playing Lydia Tarr in the story of the fictional composer and conductor. You can stream Tarr now on Peacock. 36 years later, we got a Top Gun sequel that somehow lived up to the hype. Paramount Plus is where you can hang on for dear life with Tom Cruise in Top Gun Maverick. A luxury cruise goes very wrong for a celebrity model couple when a brutal storm leaves the survivors fighting for their lives on a desert island. You can rent or buy Triangle of Sadness on Amazon's Prime Video and other video on-demand services. And finally, Sarah Polly wrote and directed Women Talking, based on a novel about women in an isolated religious community who struggle with their faith amid a brutal reality. You can rent or buy the film on Amazon's Prime Video and other video on-demand services. Now go watch all the nominees and let us know your choice for Best Picture in the comments. For TVLine.com, I'm Rebecca Iannucci.